सी इन दिस क्वेश्चन इफ दिस सपोज आस्क यू फाइंड करंट इन टेन ओम ओके विल सिंपली अप्लाई के वी एल नाउ फर्स्ट स्टेप इज वी हैव टू सी हाउ मैनी मैशेज आर देयर टू मैशेज आर देयर वन मैश इज दिस वन वी कैन मार्केट करंट डायरेक्शन एज आई वन एंड वी कैन मार्केट एज करंट डायरेक्शन आई टू ओके you can mark it according to your convenience it's not necessary that whatever i mark you you also mark the same now we have to apply kvl in the first mesh that is a b c d that is simple you are moving from a to b so that would be minus 4 i1 you are moving from b to c so that would be minus 10 and as you can see that this is the middle wall of your house and as i told you in the middle wall there is a flow of two currents right from this side i1 is flowing so it would be i1 minus i2 if we'll take the mesh i2 then it would be i2 minus i1 because both the currents are moving in the opposite direction i1 is moving up to down i2 is moving down to up so if currents are in the opposite direction then we will subtract with each other and if currents are in the same direction then we will add with each other right c to d nothing is there leave it d to a then that would be plus 6 is equal to 0 this is our first equation now if we we'll take the second mesh second equation that is b e f c now as i told you we can't go through the path where our enemy is present current source is just like your enemy right so what we'll do we can we can go through b to e but we can't go through e to f so we what we'll do we'll make the direct equation from the current source okay now tell me i2 and 9 ampere both are moving in the same direction or in the opposite direction i2 is moving up to down and 9 ampere is moving down to up so both are in the opposite direction if the currents are moving in the opposite direction then i2 would be equal to simply minus 9 ampere because this is the corner wall right side branch and in the corner wall there is a flow of single current in the previous case that was a middle wall in the middle wall there is a flow of double current understood so now we can simply solve these two equations and we'll get the value for i1 and i2 understood